guys welcome back to my channel I'm Shani if you guys didn't know and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my most used products of 2017 everything under the sun of beauty I'm going to be sharing my hair products um, some of my skincare products eyebrow products some primers foundations concealers I have one blush to show you guys and some eyelashes and I think that's oh and some brushes so let's just go ahead and get into this video okay so I'm gonna start off with my natural hair products so my favorite shampoo and conditioner for my natural hair is the thick and full biotin collagen shampoo and conditioner I freaking love the shampoo I love the way it smells that's one thing that got me about the shampoo it smells so good and it actually works in my hair I don't know if you guys have heard me mention that I don't like using products that don't have a lot of slip to it but that is not the case when it comes to these fa foundations but that is not the case when it comes to this um, conditioner and shampoo first of all the shampoo does not dry out my hair and I also think that this shampoo starts to make my hair thicker when I use it consistently and I did like a braid out slash twist out and I used the Carol's daughter shampoo and I didn't really notice how bad my hair looked in that video until I was using these products and I was like, wait, I, I don't think that shampoo was doing my hair good at all because my hair didn't look really good in that video. It looked dry. Looking back at that video, I feel like the shampoo was like too dry for my hair. Like it didn't look moisturized at all. But using these products... My hair is back to normal, I guess you can say. I don't know why I tried to sway away from this shampoo and conditioner, um, but it's back in my life now and my hair is doing fine. Okay, so the next conditioner that I use in my hair is this Aussie Moist Conditioner. And I use this for a lot of things. I use this to style my hair and I also use it to condition my hair. I use it for co-washing. Um, I use it to lay down my baby hairs. I use this conditioner a lot and this bottle is basically empty but I don't know what it is about this conditioner it has great slip and it holds my baby hairs down like what type of conditioner is an edge control and this is basically a soft gel to my edges it actually lays them down I don't know how but it does go get this you need this <laughs> Alright Tay, so moving on to the shampoos for my straight hair. I use the All Soft Red Can Shampoo and Conditioner. This shampoo has honestly changed my life when it comes to straightening out my natural hair. It actually does the job and this shampoo definitely makes my hair really really soft but I do not like the price point of these shampoos. Normally these bottles are $34 or something like that each. Like. I'm not talking for both. I'm talking $34 and $34 each. They're actually on sale right now for $19.99 if I'm not mistaken. So I just went ahead and bought them um, because I know these are going to last me a whole entire year. Just like the other ones that I had. And they made a slight change to how the bottle looks. They have like a different design on it or it's probably a different color. I'm not sure. You definitely have to catch them on sale though because I don't I don't buy those full price. They're they're freaking $34 like come on why wouldn't you buy them on sale okay so the deep conditioner that I use in my hair is the extreme mega mask from Redken if you guys have watched my kinky curly hair routine this is the same conditioner but it's in a different bottle I think this one is supposed to last way longer in your hair so you don't have to use it as much oh another thing about this deep conditioner I really feel like this is what has been protecting my hair from a lot of heat damage even though I don't straighten my hair a lot I do leave out my leave out I don't like to do the frontal thing I just it's just not me so I do leave my leave out out um, right now I have my parting out and then the perimeter of my hair is out I don't have the back left out this time normally I keep the whole perimeter of my head left out with the part but this time I was just like just braid it all up but yeah I really feel like this has been protecting my hair from a lot of the heat damage so thank you Redken all these hair products are from Redken this is the satin wear heat styling thermal smoothing lotion and this is a heat protecting a lot of you guys were asking what heat protecting do I use to protect my hair from heat and all of the products that I use in my straight hair are heat protectants because I'm not trying to play no games with the heat damage so all of these products have a heat protectant in it except for like the shampoo I think and this is a great product it has a lot of slip to it and it makes it easier for me to detangle and blow out my hair and then the next product that I like to use is the all-in-one one united um 
Redken spray and this spray conditions your hair it nourishes your hair improves manageability it reduces dryness it also helps to detangle and this spray also helps to prevent heat damage so yeah I love 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 these products for straightening out my hair I know these products are on the expensive side I highly recommend them but I recommend you guys trying out the sample sizes first that's what they're there for um, I think the sample sizes are like six dollars and I think you can get like two washes out of it depending on how thick your hair is that's what I did I watched a whole bunch of videos on straightening my hair I went to a professional and I just tried out sample sizes of the products that I thought would work in my hair some of the products didn't work and some of the products did so the products that did work I just saved the sample size and, and I just went back to Ulta to buy the full size but if you guys don't know where the sample sizes are in Ulta I would definitely ask somebody because that's what the workers are there for to help you out so make sure you guys ask where the sample sizes are and they will point you in that direction and they have a whole bunch of sample sizes of literally all of these products so if you guys want to try out every single product in a sample size you can okay moving on to my favorite makeup brushes I have some morphe brushes real technique and Sigma so the first brush that I'm going to mention is the morphe m5 32 brush and I really love this brush for blending out anything in the crease I also like the e27 brush for that as well but it's a little smaller and it's softer and I also like the Morphe M441 brush for blending out my crease as well. These are all blending brushes that I love to use. I'm pretty sure if you guys have watched my videos, you guys have seen all three of these brushes being used. And as you guys can tell, they are still being used because they're dirty. So those are my top blending brushes. Okay, so these are my top blending brushes for like my crease area. So this is the Morphe m514 brush but it's a smaller blending brush and i like to blend out my crease with this brush beautiful beautiful brush the next brush that i want to mention is the sigma e25 brush and i really like this brush for packing on shadows in my outer corner and blending it out and i can also take it up under my eye and blend out shadow down there so i really like this brush for that and then the next brush that i have to mention is this really tiny morphe brush this is the m506 brush and this is ideal for getting right into the crease and blending it out it just really fits into my crease and also this is good for people that have like small eyes and don't have a lot of lid space so this is really good to blend out your crease and it's also good for blending out the bottom lash line so love this brush and then the other two brushes that i have to mention is the mag 242 brush and i like to use this brush to carve out my brows i like to do cut creases with this brush i like to pack on eye primer with this brush i like to apply concealer up under my eyes with this brush and i need to buy some more of these brushes because i use them a lot like it's ridiculous how much i use this one brush and then for packing on eyeshadow i like to use the sigma e55 brush and this is a new favorite for me i usually use my elf eyeshadow brush but that one broke on me and i haven't went to go buy it back even though it's three dollars i definitely still love my elf eyeshadow brush i just haven't bought it yet um but this sigma brush has kind of replaced it but when i get my elf eyeshadow brush back i'll probably switch back and forth with these two eyeshadow brushes but this is a really good eyeshadow brush it's dense it's the perfect size i just love this brush so yeah okay so the next brush that i have to mention is this deluxe concealer brush and i like using this brush to blend out my concealer if you guys are familiar with my videos you guys know that i like using a concealer as a eyeshadow base so this is what i typically use to blend out the concealer and then i take my sasha buttercup setting powder to set the concealer with this brush and this is the real technique contouring brush and this is just the perfect size to pack on the powder to set my concealer and I use the e48 brush to do the same thing so if this one is too dirty one day I'll just go in with this one because they both do the same thing the morphe brush is just a little bit bigger and taller to contour or bronze my face I like to use the morphe m437 brush and I feel like this is just the perfect size I can also use it to contour my nose I'll just squeeze it together and go just like that and contour my nose and then to set my whole face I like to use the morphe e41 brush and then the other brush that i like to use is the morphe mb 
one brush. They both do the same thing. They're a little different in size and shape. This one is a lot more dense and this one is a lot more not dense, if that makes sense. <laughs> okay, moving on to skincare. My favorite face wash is the Derma E Anti-Wrinkle Cleanser that has vitamin A and glycolic acid in it. It's cruelty free, GMO free, gluten free, soy free, it's recyclable, and it's wind energy certified. But yeah, I really love this face wash and I feel like it's just, I feel like it helps smooth out my skin. It does a good job at cleaning my skin and it does a good job at keeping the texture of my skin smooth. And you guys can get it from CVS or you guys can get it from Skin Store. Majority of the time, I get mines from CVS, but this one I got from Skin Store. Okay, so the next skincare product I have to mention is this Derma E Dark Circle Reducing Eye Cream. And I really feel like this is helping out with my dark circles. Like, I feel like my skin is evening out a little bit because I had a lot of hyperpigmentation. Um, if you guys have been following for a while, I do have dark circles and then I have like dark lines right here. But the thing that I'm most concerned about that I want to go away is my dark circles and I really feel like it's helping. And then for oils, I like to use the pure oils and this is the olive oil which is empty. So then I went back to Sally's and I got the pure avocado oil and this is a great, great moisturizing oil. I feel like butter when I use this. So yeah, I really like these oils to hydrate my skin and I just feel like they just keep me glowing. I really think you guys should give these a try because they're really inexpensive to be honest and they actually work. Okay, moving right along to eyebrow products. My favorite eyebrow pencils are Spiked from MAC, of course, and my NYX eyebrow pencils. These pencils right here are just bomb. This is the NYX micro brow pencil and it really reminds me of the Spike eyebrow pencil but the only difference is it has a spoolie. So I really like that about this pencil. I like to use these two pencils to outline my brow and do the detail work up front to make it look like hairs. So that's what I like the micro brow pencil and the spiked eyebrow pencil for because they're really thin. And then I like the precision brow pencil from NYX and Espresso to fill in my brow because it's a thicker product and it just fills in my brows really quick. Okay, so I have two like prepping slash setting sprays that I want to mention. First is the MAC Fix Plus, of course freaking love this spray who doesn't love this spray <laughs> so I love this spray for prepping my skin before during and after makeup if you guys have seen my foundation routine you guys will know why I love this spray so much and I like to use this Mario Badescu spray for the same exact thing I feel like they work the same the only difference is the price okay moving on to primers I have three primers to mention and the first one I'm going to mention is the LA girl pro prep high definition smoothing face primer for the price of this primer this primer is bomb this is a great great primer for the price moving on to the last and final primer i have to mention fenty beauty primer and i use this like as lotion like literally i put this on like it's lotion but it actually works at mattifying my face it's not like really matte it's like a soft matte primer but I really like it okay moving on to foundation I have three foundations and the first foundation that I have to mention is the MAC Pro Longwear Nourishing Waterproof Foundation in the color NC50 it's beautiful on my skin I don't know what happened but this foundation is a little bit too light for me now so I mix it with my covergirl vitalist elixir foundation in 775 and the reason why this is in my favorites video is because the shade of this foundation is like spot on is a tad bit red i need a little more gold in it um i don't really like how it dries down on the skin if i'm not using the right primer it does tend to sink into the skin and my skin starts to look more textured than i want it to look so i don't really like that about this foundation but i love the color i love the fact that it's super duper blendable and you can definitely build up this foundation and you can also mix this foundation with another 
so i love these two together and i love them separately and i also love the fit me matte and poreless foundation if this was like my exact color this is probably the only foundation i would wear it's a little too light for me i need like an in-between shade the 360 is too dark for me i like my face being a little darker so that when i take pictures it flashes back to be my skin tone but mocha um i think that was the name of the color but 360 in this foundation was way too dark like it dried and it oxidized really dark like my sister was like yo what's wrong with your face <laughs> so that's how i knew that foundation was too dark this foundation is workable it's a tad bit too light but i can probably mix it with this foundation to get my skin tone because i love 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 the undertone of this foundation like it looks like my skin you know so yeah those are my top three foundations for the year of 2017 and i really think those are some foundations that are going to stay in my collection because they just really work moving on to concealers you guys probably already know what i'm going to say the la girl pro concealer is is my favorite three dollars who is beating three dollars for concealer that is bomb nobody nobody out here is topping la girl pro concealer <laughs> i use the color chestnut but if i want to get a little fancy i'll throw fawn in there fawn is a really pretty color this color is really pretty on my skin tone but it's it's hella light so i always mix it with um chestnut sometimes i feel like chestnut is a little too close to my skin tone so then i'll just go ahead and mix fawn with it for eyeshadows i went back and looked at my videos and i know four of the eyeshadows that i always use but this palette made it into a lot of my videos it just seemed right to put this palette into a video this is a great palette to start off with if you are a freelancer if you're just getting into makeup or if you don't want to fork out the 60 something dollars for this palette i can start you off with four eyeshadows for a basic eyelid so the first color should be brown script but the first color is saddle from mac and i love this color as like an all-over color or i love this as a mobile eyelid color it's like a really soft neutral light brown color it looks good on lighter skin tones and it looks good on dark skin tones so saddle is a must have the next eyeshadow is brown script and <laughs> you guys can't even see it but you guys already know what it is when it comes to brown script brown script is not going nowhere like i'm gonna always repurchase this eyeshadow i already repurchased it but i really don't know where my other one is and i just found this in one of my palettes i had to give you guys a visual of how much i love brown script because it's that serious we in a relationship you know what i'm saying okay so my next most used and most loved eyeshadow is brown down from mac and i just love this color it's brown i can do a smoky eye with it i can do a brown smoky eye with it i can do a wash of color i can make it light i can smoke on my bottom lash line with it if i wanted to contour my nose with it i probably could the options are endless it's brown i love it it's you need it okay and then my next most used eyeshadow is corrupt from makeup geek and everybody needs a black eyeshadow and this eyeshadow is super dark it's really black and i love this for smoking out my eyes i like adding dimension with this eyeshadow i like to smoke out my bottom lash line i like to take it over my liquid liner and make my liquid liner more dark and crisp and clean so this is corrupt for makeup geek and all four of those shadows are a good starting point if you don't know what eyeshadows to get i definitely recommend getting some colors in this shade range if i didn't do youtube and i wasn't a makeup artist this would probably be the only eyeshadows in my collection maybe that's a stretch but honestly i would wear these eyeshadows every single day if i could so yeah brown strip saddle brown down and corrupt from makeup geek okay so moving on to my face powders the powder that i've been using the most is the studio fix powder in nc 47 this has been my ride or die for the past couple months and i don't see it going anywhere anytime soon so if you guys are looking for a all over setting powder to set your face 
this is a beautiful powder. Now, I also use this as a setting powder to set up under your eyes. I use it at work all the time. So when I do have a full face to do, I usually go for this powder to set people's under eyes and it just does the job. When I use this, my client's makeup is flawless. Their under eyes just look so smooth. But I try not to pack a whole bunch of powder under their eye because this is a foundation. So I don't want to pack another foundation on top of concealer on top of foundation. You know what I'm saying? So I do use this sparingly but it's it's great to set the under eyes if you find a color that's the color of your highlight. But me personally I use it as a all over facial setting powder. And then my other go-to is the Fit Me Matte and Poreless Powder in 360. And this basically does the same exact thing. They're just a little different in color and this one is cheaper. This one is definitely more long wearing than this. I think this powder is a 16 hour wear if I'm not mistaken. And this Fit Me powder is a 12 hour wear. So has a little bit of a difference. I almost forgot to mention the eyeliner that I've been using and loving recently. This is the Makeup Forever Ink Liner. This is the eyeliner that I have on right now. Do y'all see how black this is? It's super black and it's super matte, which I love. I do not like shiny eyeliner. I don't like it at all. Look at my liner or go watch my makeup tutorial on this look. <laughs> Okay, so since I only have one blush to mention, this is Desert Rose from MAC. This is the only blush I usually wear. Ever since I found out about this blush, I haven't put it down. Like, it's perfect. Like, people will come up to my face and look at me. Do you have blush on? Yes, I have blush on. And I'm like, it looks so subtle, but it's so pretty at the same time. They'll be like, you can't really tell you have it on, but then you can tell. I like that blush. I need a blush like that. I'm like, see, you get me. Like, I want blush, but I don't want it to look like blush. Does that make sense? This is just the perfect blush for me. Okay, moving on to my favorite contouring items. So, the first one I have to mention is the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. This has quickly become my all time favorite contour color. It just looks so good on the skin. It's dark enough. It blends out really, really well. It doesn't break up my foundation at all. It goes on the skin beautifully and you would think it's a powder because of how I use it. The last two products that I have to mention for contouring is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium to Dark. And as you guys can see, my contouring shade is gone. This brown shade right here was the perfect contouring shade for me, which is why you guys kept seeing me use it over and over and over again. It's affordable, it does the job. What else can I really ask for, you know what I'm saying? And then if I ran out of this product and I didn't wanna go back to the store to buy another one, I would just use my Rich Mahogany Press Powder from Black Radiance. I feel like it's kind of the same color, but it's something about the color in this palette. I don't think it's the same because it doesn't give me the same vibe. I feel like this one is a little more dark and more cool tone, but this one has like a hint of warm tone to it. So either or, if I ran out of this one, I will use this one. It will still give me the look I was going for. So either or is really good. Rich Mahogany or, or the True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium to Dark. And I don't really use these two colors because one time I used this color and I think I used too much and it kind of flashed back. So I was like, uh, no. And then this color right here, this is a highlighting shade. It's a pretty highlight shade, but it's not like my type of highlight, if you guys get what I'm saying. But it's it's pretty. It does the job. If you want to add a little glow to your face, it does give you a glow, but it's not my type of glow so that is it for the contouring and moving on to my all-time favorite under eye setting powder sasha buttercup setting powder i have not found anything that comes close to what this does for me this does not flash back this keeps me matte all day this is my second tub of the sasha buttercup setting powder and the first one lasted me for over a year so if you guys purchase this, just know you'll be good for more than a year. I do want to branch out and try more under eye setting powders just to see what's out there. So if you guys have some recommendations on what 
I should try and you guys know I would love definitely leave it down below because I do want to try out some more under eye setting powder and hopefully I like them but until then Sasha she she not going nowhere moving on to my favorite lashes I have to give it to Noobsome Dragon Lee lashes I think that's how you pronounce it but these lashes right here they're super dramatic and they are a little pricey but they are so pretty every time i wear these lashes you guys always notice and you guys are just like oh my gosh those lashes are so pretty and if i'm not mistaken i think they came out with a little sister to these lashes i definitely have to check up on that because if they did i have to buy them like it's done but yeah these have to be my favorite lashes of 2017 that's my number one pick but then I have my dodo lashes in the style 303 any of the dodo lashes I love the lashes and I also have a coupon code but the only thing I don't like about these lashes is they take forever to get to me so I have to order these lashes in bulk so I don't run out I think these lashes are like $12 without my coupon code I'm not sure how much it is with the coupon code but just letting y'all know dodo lashes are bomb i love all the ardo demi wispy lashes or wispy lashes and then i like the studio effect wispies and i like the studio effect demi wispies all of those lashes are bomb and i also like the kiss lashes from walmart i just i just like lashes that's just, that's just it last but not least my favorite highlighters of 2017 the number one spot has to go to Anastasia Beverly Hills Sun Dipped Glow Kit. But I only use like one shade out of this palette, which is bronze. I love any type of bronzy highlight because it goes with my skin tone. So thank you, Anastasia, for coming through with this palette. And then it's so buttery and small. Who would not love this? I use the heck out of this color. And then the next spot has to go to the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Powder in Crown of My Canopy. It's a beautiful rose gold highlight. It took me forever to get my hands on this highlighter, but when I did, I was super super excited about it okay so the last and final highlighter that i'm going to mention and this is glow with it extreme dimension skin finish from mac and i never use this in any of my videos because i just now purchased it but when i'm at work this is the only highlighter that i wear i have it on now it makes you look like you're glowing from within it's more of a sheeny glow from within type of highlight and it's brown so it looks beautiful on my skin tone even though I haven't worn it in any of my videos in 2017 this is what I always wore at work so I just thought you guys should know what I wear at work I almost forgot to mention my favorite lip products of 2017 like how how could I forget to do that the first one has to go to the cream sheen lip glass and the light and the MAC lip glass these two together are bomb and then my favorite liquid lipsticks are the liquid lip colors from mac the soft matte lip creams from nyx and the colored rain liquid lipsticks this is in the color cherry blossom this is the only red that i wear a lot of bright red lipsticks tend to pull orange on me and i do not like that i like my red lipsticks to be like a blood dark red the next one is high drama from mac and it's this deep maroon burgundy every time i wear high drama i get a lot of compliments and it makes my teeth look really white so that's perfect and then the next um soft matte lip cream is in abu dhabi which is a beautiful nude color i don't have this one on right now but i do have a nyx soft matte lip cream on right now all right you guys so that is it for this video i really hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know some of your favorite products of 2017 thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next upload